Thank the, you. The lady from Wyoming is recognized for three Thank you, minutes. Mr. Speaker. It should come as no surprise that this administration, known for its reckless spending and misuse of congressionally appropriated money, has resumed the Obama-era practice of redirecting settlement funds away from the American people and to activist groups championing, championing the radical left's pet projects. Instead of going to those harmed by a defendant or placing such funds into the U.S. Treasury to serve the American people, vast sums of money, literally millions and tens of millions of dollars, are instead being directed to Democrat party-aligned groups by federal agencies, placing these newly acquired federal funds outside of Congress's purview while also funding radical progressive agendas to boot. These groups are then free to spend dollars on partisan priorities expressly denied by Congress or to fund their own sue and settle tactics against the federal government. Simply put, these funds are weaponized against the American people and are yet another way Democrats are abusing their power. Twice, the Trump administration limited this practice only to have each attempt reversed by Joe Biden. Clearly, this is not a partisan abuse. It is coming from only one side. As a member of Congress, such actions are a blatant affront to our power of the purse and an effort to sidestep congressional oversight. These slush fund activities deprive victims of the proper restitution or justice system promises. H.R. 788 will end this unconstitutional, fraudulent, and immoral practice and provide Americans greater transparency into federal settlement practices. I urge my colleagues to vote in favor of this bill, and I yield back. 